AI is coming for us, guys. Okay, yeah, I said that out loud to myself. One night, I was watching ChatGPT write code faster than I could even type my name, and my stomach actually dropped. It's building websites, solving bugs, answering interview questions faster, cheaper, non-stop. And if you're just starting to learn to code, yes, it's easy to ask, why am I even doing this if AI already knows everything? I've had that thought too. It hit hard. But here's what helped me calm down and see things differently. This isn't the end of developers. It's the end of coding like a robot and the beginning of a new kind of developer, someone creative, strategic, and ready to use AI as a tool and not fear it as a threat. Today, I will show you how AI is changing the way we code and how you can use it to level up and not get left behind. There's one big thing AI still can't do and that, that's your advantage, my friend. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Pete and I've been a professional programmer since 2012. My mission with this channel is to help you learn how to code the right way and motivate you to keep going. Let me tell you when the panic really hit. It was late. My third coffee was cold. My code wasn't working. I felt stuck. So I opened ChatGPT, typed in my issue and in seconds it gave me the perfect solution. Not just something usable, something even better than what I would be working on for hours. And I just sat there thinking, wait, am I even needed anymore? That moment, yeah, it stinks. But once I stepped back, took a breath and maybe stared at the ceiling for a little bit, I saw things differently. This isn't the end of coding, it's just a shift. Think about calculators. They didn't replace math students. They helped us go faster. Same here, AI isn't replacing developers, it's just helping the ones who learn how to use it. And you can absolutely be one of those developers. Here's the shift that made all the difference for me. AI isn't your competition, it's your assistant. It's like this, Google was a flashlight, AI is a floodlight. It doesn't just point you to answers, it shows you what's possible, explains it, and sometimes even built it. But here's the thing, a hammer never built a house, a calculator, never passed an exam by itself. And AI, it doesn't do anything until you tell it what to do. It's great at helping you brainstorm ideas, writing boring repetitive code, suggesting better ways to solve problems when your brain is tired. But even with all that, you're still the one in control. You bring the direction. You are the one bringing the understanding. You bring the human side. That's what makes you valuable. Here's what no one tells you. AI replaces shortcuts not developers. But if you only rely on shortcuts, you will build something that looks fine until it breaks. And when it breaks, AI is not fixing it. You are. That's why foundations matter. Learn how websites really work. Understand HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, whatever you're working with. Don't just copy paste. Try to understand what each line is doing. Because when you mix real knowledge with smart AI use, phew, you stop coding like a beginner and start thinking like a builder. AI becomes your sidekick. You bring the brain, AI brings the boost. And together, you get stuff done faster and better. Now let's talk tools. You don't need to spend money, you don't need to be a pro. You just need a bit of curiosity. Here are a few tools I love and use all the time. ChatGPT is free. It's great for asking questions, fixing bugs, or walking through a coding problem. If it's confusing, Ask it to explain it like you're 10 years old. It works, I promise. Tool number two, GitHub Copilot. It predicts what code you might need next. Not perfect, but super helpful for getting unstuck or speeding things up. Tool number three, Notion AI. It's great for organizing your learning, writing notes, or planning your next small project. And here's the thing. You're not cheating by using this, you're learning smarter. Just don't forget to ask, do I understand what this code is doing? Could I explain this to someone else? Can I write it again without help? If yes, congrats, you're growing. If not, no problem, that's your next goal. And if you want a more structured way to learn with real projects and hands-on practice, I highly recommend Scrimba. Their interactive courses are actually fun and they help you build confidence as you go. I will leave a link in the description below so you can try it out. Now, the fun part. Here's what AI cannot do. It doesn't understand people. It doesn't know what your user is struggling with. It doesn't care if a button is confusing. It doesn't feel anything, but you do. You bring empathy. You bring creativity. You notice what's missing and think, I can make that better. 
AI can generate, but it can't imagine. You can. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to know everything. You just have to care about solving real problems and keep learning as you go. That's what makes you valuable. And that's something no machine can replace. So here's the truth. You're not late. You're not behind. You're right on time. AI isn't the end of your coding journey. It's just a new path with new tools to help you get there faster. So keep learning, keep asking questions, use the tools, and most of all, keep going. Because the only way to lose is to quit. And if you're looking for a solid starting point or a bit more structure, definitely check out the link to Scrimbus courses down below. It's helped a ton of beginners get unstuck and actually enjoy learning to code. So what AI tools are you using or what's still stressing you out? Let me know in the comments below. If this helped, give it a like and subscribe for more real talk videos just like this one from someone learning right alongside you. Thanks for watching. I'm Pete and I'll see you on the next one.